Mr. President, the continued occurrence and reoccurrence of the conflict between nomadic headsmen and crop farmers and other crimes that has been associated with Fulani and the Fulani ethnic grouping in the country has been giving us sleepless nights. These activities have portrayed the Fulani in a very negative light, thus making it look like the Fulani community is in conflict with Mother Ghana. The National Council of Fulani Chiefs intend to set up, with the approval of government, tax forces in the affected regions to help arrest and hand over to the security agencies for prosecution all Fulanese suspected of having committed any criminal offenses or breached the directives to confine their cattle in crowds. We hope and believe that the steps you have already taken and those to be taken with the collaboration of the National Council of Fulani Chiefs and which will be the first of its kind in the country, we will have a lasting solution to the problem and also an enormous economic benefit to Mother Ghana. I think it is important that I speak also frankly to you. Everybody in this country has been very disturbed by the activities of, quote, the Fulani heads. We hear about the fights that have been going on in different parts of the country, in the Shanti, the Volta region, in the uh, eastern region. They're very disturbing. And therefore, finding a solution is one of the big concerns of my government. When President Kufo was here over 10 years ago, he had began to work out a way to resolve the problem, and unfortunately he had to go and the government went with him. But we're back, and we're determined to find a solution. We're going to have a solution that will protect everybody, the herdsmen, their cattle, and the communities in which they work. I'm very encouraged by the offer of the task force and we work together between your community and the law enforcement agencies to make sure that things are, that anybody who wants to misbehave is appropriately dealt with by the law as the law prescribes. There's a lot of money in it for everybody, for the ranchers, for the herdsmen, for the people working in it, if we organize ourselves well. And that is why we want to start with the ranchers so that we have secure places for grazing for the cattle, they have access to water, to feed, medical assistance, assistance, all of that will be part and parcel of the thing. And if we are able to begin to develop in this way, very soon the, the, the meat industry that will develop out of there will, Ghana, will bring a lot of jobs and wealth to a lot of people in Ghana.